Today in the news, Intel's GPUs look further and further away, and we talk some AMD stuff. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Intel. It looks like their definition of uh, release is very different from mine and yours. Their GPUs have been delayed again. So in 2018, they said that their GPUs would get released in 2020. In 2020, we did get a discrete chip, but that was for laptops and uh, they teased us with a desktop card. Then 2021 came and we thought that that was the year that we'd see desktop GPUs, but we got DG1, which was a discrete card only for OEMs. And then late 2021 passed and we thought Q1 of 2022, this is when we get our GPUs. But unfortunately, Intel wiped Q1 mentions from their websites completely and came out with this new release schedule. So Q1 would be for mobile chips, Q2 for desktop, and Q3 for workstations. Well, guess what? Q2 is here, we have about a month and a half left, and we have nothing yet. What's worse is Intel releases this, from Lisa Pierce, the Vice President and General Manager for the Visual Compute Group. This is a blog post that allows Intel to answer their own easy questions. Although they're not that easy, let's just take a look. Question one, can you update us on the status of your Intel Arc Graphics mobile products? So we're talking laptops here. First was Samsung, who started with availability in Korea and is expanding globally. We plan to have broader OEM availability at this point. However, we have had some software readiness delays and together with COVID lockdowns, impacting global supply chains. OEM designs are only this month becoming more widely available. So what Intel is saying here is that no, you couldn't get a laptop GPU with Arc uh, in Q1 of 2022. It was only for Q2. And worst part is that only this month they're starting to expand. So availability is going to be super scarce. And that's only for Arc 3, the lowest end. If you look at Arc 5 and 7, they're saying that it will only become available in early summer. That's June 21st at the earliest. I mean, come on, Intel, just tell us that it's gonna come in Q3. Now, what about the desktop market? Because that's what I am more interested in. Well, question number two, when are the desktop cards with Intel Arc graphics coming? Now here, Intel is blaming the weirdest thing possible. They're saying that unlike notebook designs, laptop systems have a vast set of combinations, including memory, motherboards, and CPUs. Seriously? I'm sorry, but notebooks are probably more complicated than desktops. Motherboards come in a few variants and there are set standards for pretty much everything on the desktop market. For notebooks, you can have soldered memory, you can have LP DDR instead of regular DDR. You have to account for the power delivery, whereas this thing is just always 75 watts out of the PCIe uh, slot and whatever amounts of power you wanna put in through the uh, regular cabling. So yeah, no Intel. This is not a good excuse, but they do say that to initially limit some of this variation, they will launch working with system builders and OEMs with specific configurations. So once again, OEMs only at this point. And just like with notebooks, they're starting with Arc 3, their lowest end GPUs, and they're starting only in China. They're still targeting Q2, so they still have a month and a half, and they're saying that e-tail and retail purchases, so being able to buy the component itself, will Will also start in Q2 with Arc 3 and only be available in China. As for the A500 and A700 series, we thought that they would release in late Q2, right? Well, it looks like it's more like late Q3. Intel here says that rollout of Intel Arc A5 and A7 will start worldwide with OEMs and SIs later this summer, followed by component sales in worldwide channels. So not only did they push it to Q3, but it will start with OEMs only, and then probably in September, we might see some component sales. I mean, Nvidia is on the cusp of releasing their RTX 4000 series at that point, which means that Intel just completely lost their advantage for timing. Honestly, I'm not that surprised. I didn't think that we would really get Intel GPUs. They said that they would only produce around 4 million units in 2022, and most of that is gonna go to the mobile market, South Korea, the China sales, and of course, OEMs. I don't expect for me to be able to buy an Arc GPU until 2023, probably. 
Moving on, let's talk AMD. And it looks like Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.0, FSR 2.0, if you will, is supposed to have its first supported game very soon. It's gonna start with Deathloop on May 12th, and there are 10 more games planned to receive support, including EVE Online, Farming Simulator 2022, Forspoken, Grounded, and a couple of others. Oh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. That's pretty good. That game needs any kind of upscaling it can. As is, I've already made a video on FSR 1.0, going all the way back to, you know, 10 year old GPUs. You can check that out right here. But if you're interested in me making a video on FSR 2.0, just let me know down below. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm sorry if I kept looking up, I just I saw it fly there. See you later. Stay frosty.